Hey everyone! It's one of those messy hair day week type things. <laughs> I am so happy that you're here because I have to tell you guys something. I don't think I've ever mentioned this. No, I have. Ooh. Well. Once upon a time, I did a vlog about running the Y. And me, I haven't really talked about it since, but I really like fitness. And that's not our focus here, right? I'm not a fitness influencer. Uh, I just like to kind of put out some content that hopefully makes people feel happy and good, but it's not necessarily like ways to like approach your life and fitness or foods to make or crafts to do. Um, it's, it doesn't come with so, so many set instructions except for like emotional and mental tips. But I love fitness and it is good for you emotionally and mentally. And this next article, I talk about a 5k run, but I kind of focus on some fitness tips-ish. And so this is my love leaking through a little bit, crossing the lines of the, the niche, I guess. Uh, I'm always willing to like talk about workouts and all of that. I'm not an expert though, so I've kind of just been like, ah, like I take the tips I've learned from trainers and athletes and then I, I use those and I tell my friends, but I don't want to like publicly be like, I know everything because I don't. <laughs> that said, I'm just gonna talk about this 5k run. It's one of my favorite ones that I have ever done and it was free. It's called a temple to temple 5k run. And so if you don't know what temple is, we talked about it in another blog post. Essentially, it's just a place where members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints can go and worship and make promises to follow God and just connect with him on a deeper spiritual level. And in Provo, we have two temples. There's one that's been here for like decades. And then the one used to be a tabernacle where choirs would sing. And then there was a fire. A lot of it got destroyed, but they rebuilt it. That story is actually just a cool story in its own. But that gave us two temples and they're like three miles apart. <laughs> and so someone just said, hey, Let's do a 5K, temple to temple 5K. And so that happens annually and Josh and I decided to do it together and I wrote about it. So this blog was posted on July 24th, 2021 and it's called Temple to Temple 5K Run. Super deep. <laughs> Over 20,000 people clustered together following the same path from the Provo Temple to the Provo City Center Temple. The 5K race included a wide range from babies and strollers to older folks with white hair and great ambition. As two young adults, Joshua and I definitely didn't stand out. We blended as easily into the crowd as mixing Carolina blue with cornflower blue. Hint, they're basically the same. Getting Joshua to agree to run this event with me was already the biggest biggest accomplishment I could achieve. I had little desire of achieving a PR. By the way, I always have little desire of that. Um, my dreams of uniting as a couple to exercise had reached a peak. A three mile race ran together. Despite his track and field experience in high school, Joshua does not consider himself a runner. A few breathing difficulties has made running riskier for him in the past, and he would sooner pick up a book than lace his tennis shoes. So even though he does run or exercise from time to time, I never expected him to say yes when I asked if he would join me for this 5k, but he did and readily so. When Joshua goes on runs, he keeps the distance minimal. 
His goal is to not overextend himself, but to do the task that keeps his body healthy without exhaustion. His body doesn't need much, so he doesn't run much. On the other hand, I struggle not to push myself when I run. Even if I intend to go slow, my pace ends up near the same as usual. Believe me, it's a fault. And it's one I've been working on forever and I've finally gotten better. Tell, let me tell you, it is a blessing to slow down. Back to the article. <laughs> However, having the opportunity to run with Joshua satisfied me completely. I did not mind that we would inevitably uh, begin walking half a mile in, going at a um, slower pace than my normal. Um, this upcoming 5K had excited me and I knew I would enjoy it even if we walked the entire event. The race started at 8 a.m. and kicked off with a downhill slope. And when I say downhill slope, I mean like actually downhill. Gravity was there. Oh, this allowed us to gain pace and weave through other participants. I let Joshua set the pace and surprisingly, he often ran faster than I would have chosen to. Then he finally asked how far we had gone. I looked at my tracker app and saw it. 1.56 miles. Josh never ran that far nonstop. Soon after, we walked for a short distance and then finished the race running without ever stopping again. In total, we only spent around half a mile of the event walking. My soccer coaches always said that our minds are strong and our bodies are more physically capable than we may believe or realize. Joshua set his mind to go faster and farther than he had before, and he did that. His mindful determination overcame what we both thought his body was capable of. This mind over matter ability is useful when a mother needs to save her child from getting crushed by a car, and is also, also useful when a person has a goal to obtain. All it takes is belief and the realization that the mind can help us power through more than we ever thought we could physically. Athletes around the world are constantly reconfirming this. Joshua reconfirmed this. Don't despair if physical fitness seems intimidating or hard to conquer. As with all things, take it in small steps. And when the plank seems impossible to hold, the mile seems too long to finish or the weight's too heavy to lift, know you're capable of more than you think. Stay realistic and hopeful. One day, like Joshua, maybe you'll achieve something you thought impossible. It's always fun to read these and find typos. I'm going to fix it. Uh, like I said before, it's just me doing this and some days my editing is a little more rushed than others. I'm not gonna lie, when I read these, sometimes I just ignore some typos and just let them be because if people see I was imperfect in the past, then like, oh well. <laughs> but, and honestly, I'm still imperfect to this day. But this one is gonna bother me because it's too, as in too much but it's spelled two as in go to there. The wrong two. 100% this is true. I'm glad I wrote this because I think this mindset kind of stuck with me and when you write something, it sticks with you even more. If you don't know, I ran a marathon last year and I totally kind of sabotaged myself. I did a YouTube video about it, but the footage was just really bad, so I took it down because it was it looked bad and it was too long. I didn't get enough filmed of me actually doing the event, blah, blah, blah. I'll fix it this year. <laughs> but long story short, I decided to run a marathon. I had never ran longer than like five or six miles my whole life. So I started training. It was my last semester of college and I was doing ballet. And I didn't realize how tiring it would be to be doing ballet and training for a marathon. And then every once in a while having intramural soccer games. It was just so much. So then I decided I was just going to train for my half marathon 
which was a month before my marathon, actually just a little less than a month, and then try to run a few more like long distance miles um, up until my marathon. Well, I ran my half marathon and turns out it's really tiring to run 13.1 miles for the first time ever. Not to mention the half marathon was a trail run, so it was really up and down a lot of rocks and climbing so hard. <sighs> and so I ended up just like reducing my miles instead of increasing them and taking it easy and hoping that like the downhill would help me. And even though it's hard on the muscles, maybe if I ran it right, like it would give me some momentum. And then also hoping that if worse came to worse, I could walk and finish. Well, I finished my marathon and I walked, you know, you I walked some parts of it, but I ran a lot of it. In fact, I wasn't really feeling tired until like 18 or 19 miles and I had only run 13.1 miles beforehand and like everyone else I had my wall at 21 miles and my airpods died but I just counted the time in my head that I would run and the time in my head that I would walk I used that mental motivation and I finished I finished slowly but I finished and that's crazy to me that my mind could help me do that do I recommend doing that? A uh, no, not at all. Because then my body was super worn down. Like everybody gets super worn down after a marathon. But like six months after my marathon and I still wasn't running more than four miles. Not because my body was tired at that point, but I think there was a shock that my mental like mind, whatever, my mind, filed it and it was like running bad <laughs> like you're gonna die if you do it and it's taken a bit to get over it now i'm back to running i'm training for another marathon that i'm very excited for it just was hard to get there it's better to train properly however that said i hope it's encouraging to like hear these things and not discouraging because i'm not like unique I think most people are capable of being able to do this and there are like those big examples like the marathon or the small example like my husband who usually runs less than a mile but then ran most of a 5k and didn't have to walk that much. I think we have greatness within us and a lot of us don't believe that because we are around ourselves all the time and so we're like meh it's just me you know whatevs. But no, not whatevs, we are great. We can do amazing things. Even if it just means like you haven't been to the gym ever in your life or for five years and you go there and you lift weights for 20 to 30 minutes and they're light weights, but you do it even though you haven't done it in a long time. That's, that's surpassing what you might have thought capable and that's awesome. Clearly I'm passionate about fitness. <laughs> and about us yeah people being able to do things that they don't think they can i think with effort there's greatness there what what does shakespeare say right some people are born great some people strive for greatness some people are born with greatness some people strive for greatness while others achieve greatness oh i'm looking it up some are born great, some achieve greatness, and some have greatness thrust upon them. Shakespeare, and she's the man, which I've done. I've referenced so many blog posts, but I have also talked about she's the man in a YouTube video before. Love it. So not a lot of us might have that like greatness thrust upon us, but a lot of us can achieve it. I know it. And thank you for watching my video. Feel free to like or subscribe or just, you know, pop in and out. Watch whatever vlog you feel like whenever you feel like. I just appreciate you guys. Okay, have a good day.